Well, this is a rather large model. Mm -hmm. It's large. It's very large. Um, it's sort of in the way of, uh, can't quite see over it. <laughs> what, what we have here is a 1 8 scale uh, Soviet era gas. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the name of the company that made it in the Soviet Union. But this model was created by Diagostini ah. in Italy. And they make these just museum quality would, would be to understate the quality of, of these models. And we love these models. This is kind of an unusual thing to be collecting. <laughs> if, we need to build on a garage. If, yeah, if this was parked in the driveway, I think I'd call a tow trucker. I don't know, because this isn't a car that normally I would find that exciting. We have another one of these Diagostinis, which is a 1967 Mustang, a Shelby Mustang. Right. And now that's a that's much more interesting. It's mm -hmm. currently residing in Riverside. We've got to go get it. <laughs> right, right. Long story there. But uh, let, let me drive the gas. Uh, oh, and these things weigh. I was going to say, be careful. You will need a tow truck, like a podiatrist. I mean, it's, it's like 25 pounds. Well, we or can more. compare it with our cat who weighs 23 pounds. And this weighs more than that. Okay. He's back. <laughs> Anyway, the reason we're bringing this up is we're starting on the newest uh, Diagostini model, the Ford GT40. That is righteous. Now, we have a little bit of experience with the GT40. Back when Larry Miller was still alive and had one of the definitive collections of Fords mm. out at his racetrack, he built himself a racetrack going to have, you know, $100 million tied up in cars, you might as well build a racetrack to, to drive them around on. That's right. But these GT40s, he had, I think, six of them? Something like that. Like $10 There's million dollars a pop. <laughs> and he, and he had the, the one, that, the, the most interesting one he uh, had was the one that won Le Mans. Right. In 67, I believe. It's the one from the, the movie, uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Ah. Yeah, only wow. his got the real one in the movie, of course. They were just using fake ones, but no, he went out and got himself the real one. And then he got the, the one that won Sebring. What a collection. What a collection. And we went out there and we said, We'd like to just uh, get some ideas off some of the models and the guy that we knew that was out over the collection unlocked the door and said, well, please lock the door when you're done. Mm -hmm. And just left us in there. Yeah. And said, have better. at it. Yeah. What a day. And then on a previous day, they said, oh, we're going to be driving the, uh, the GT40, uh, the Le Mans car. Mm. Um, you might want to see that. Because every yeah, car had to be in. taken out once a month and just wrung out a little bit, and they weren't they weren't gentle on them. And sometimes Larry would show up and drive them, and he really wasn't gentle on them. It's like I don't care if I'm into this car, ten million dollars, I am it's going to be. It's his toy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have so anyway, since we can't afford to, to spend you know somewhere between ten and twenty million dollars on a real one, we can afford the the Diagostini. Now, uh, Diagostini is also going to set you back. Uh, a decent eight scale model like this is going to cost you something north of a thousand dollars. However, one of the things Diagostini does to make that a lot more palatable is they sell it to you in, in increments. Increments, yeah. <laughs> so Big instead, you, you give them like sixteen dollars plus shipping. Yes. And Not then, like the Johnny Cash song, <laughs> Recycle Billy Cadillac. Well, you can't, you can't put it all together all in one sitting, so why should you That's pay right. for it all in one sitting, right? So you can either sign up to get one uh, section set every week, uh, or you can sign up, which I think makes more sense, to get 10 of them at one time, and you can get like 10 sections, 10 uh, sections of the model a month. Right. And then you're paying 10 times as much, but you, you, you save on shipping. I was just and going it's, to and say. it's still, you know, like $160 for 10 pieces instead of $16 for one. Yeah. 
Right. So anyway, we've we've started getting our pieces, and here's the first one right here. It's the the nose of the car, and we're going to crack this guy open if I can figure out how. Well, we're going to crack this guy open if I can figure out how. Do you want me to get my exacto knife out? Let's do that. Because uh, you know, it's like. Don't leave home without it. Now, they're quite well sealed, and the nice thing there is they're not likely to get damaged in transit because they are quite well sealed. This this one's the sharp one. Okay. Surgeon? Okay. So do you want to tip it over and do it the other way? Well, cut out the, yeah, the, the, cardboard, the part. cardboard part. Just I watch guess. your fingers. I just want to make sure I don't damage the car. Right. I really don't stay, want to damage the car. Stay up the against car. the, yeah. That's one way. Well, they've got it packed in there really well, so there's no damage in that car. Now, as you're building these these various cars, another neat thing that they, they send you, the instructions, here's the the instructions for this set, section here. And what it mostly is, is the history of the car. Mm. And so um, you get all this great information on the vehicle itself. And then at the very back, there's uh, going to be some assembly instructions for the uh, section that, that you've got here. But the rest of it, and so by the time you finish the model, you also have a very nicely documented uh, version of, of the history of the car that you're building. So that's that's pretty that's neat too. That's what's neat because there's nothing like building something and you have no idea what you just built. Well, and it, it gives you something else to look forward to when, when the model part arrives mm -hmm. is that uh, not only will you get the pieces that you need to build your model, but you're going to get um, some more reading. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that... Wow, that's, oh, that's like a real foot off a car. Yeah. As they would say, it's solid. Well, and so, yeah, check that out. And then we've got the other assembly parts here. So these are the, uh, the headlight buckets. It has working headlights working tail lights, everything. And then here's the, the headlight buckets. And this is all part of the lighting equipment for this. So this would assemble quite well, quite quickly and quite simply. Oh yeah. And that's why I, I think it makes more sense to get the, the package of 10 at a time, as opposed to just getting this Plus and then waiting a week for the next section because mm -hmm. you'd be able to assemble this in, in two minutes and then you do the reading material. Let's um, move on to another section here. Now this is gonna be a little hair raising because it's got the door handle or the, the hood handles in oh, here. Oh boy. But there's the, the hood that's going to go in this. Mm -hmm. I'm almost a little hesitant, but I'm going to do it. Do you want that? Let's have the knife again. I get to open this one. Okay, you my do, turn. I'm, I'm scared of sharp objects like this. I uh, yeah, me too. Um, do 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 do. Get a good start on it. Oh, this one has, oh yeah, don't lose those or we'll be yeah, in big trouble. Those are the little tiny hood pins mm -hmm. that go in that. Yeah. And what exactly is holding? Um, it, it, it fits under there really tight. Yeah. Yeah, this goes right together. This would be just, you know, I'm not even reading instructions or anything. It fits together that well. You can just figure where everything goes. But yeah. But look at the, it all comes painted. 
Yeah. But the quality of the paint. Oh, it's it's actual it's automotive just, quality. Yeah. I mean, this is like a car. It's just, and and I mean the the Russian car over here, same thing. The, right. The Mustang, same thing. Yeah. It's just, just headlight buckets. Yeah. yeah. And so we've got uh, two of our sets of, of 10 here. So we, we could start building, but uh, this is why I would advise anyone to um, to get these in, in lots of 10 as opposed to get them one at a time. Because the, the shipping is still terribly reasonable. It's $2.50. But uh, $2.50 times 10 is gonna add up uh, whereas just paying one set of shipping is, is a lot cheaper than that. Right. And then, like I say, you get more stuff to work with. Oh, if you're like me, I'd have this together in an afternoon, this part here. What in the world? Mm. Oh, it's the console for the... Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with this. But then, see, some of the stuff that they've sent... It's like the driver's seat. Oh. So as you're getting these things, it's like, well, this That's part and that part, seat. but they've figured out what the assembly sequence needs to be to make it work. Yeah, that's, you remember how it's got the little... Um, back massagers? Back massagers, I think we're... Uh, they figured figure that one out, that, that looks like... Well, I think, I need I think we're looking at the, the back side of the whole thing, that's what we're looking I at. I sure hope so, why, because... Uh, otherwise, you'd be in torture, yeah. Or make waffles or something, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm not sure. And then here's the entire intake for the engine. Holy cow. And, and all of the fuel lines, it's got the fuel, it, what back then they like to call fuel injection, but multiple carburetors. And mm -hmm. so then here's your fuel line here. Detail. It's gonna go all in there. Just. Right down to the last spark plug connection. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now every little thing, it all sort of builds up in, in increment this and increment that and increment the other and bit by bit. Mm -hmm. uh, a Ford GT40 emerges. Well, you know, and I could just see me after just putting these few parts together, just get going on it, you know, and not stopping pretty soon to be the next day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's one of those wonderful things about working on models and yeah, you lose all sense of time and space. You walk into your shop on Monday and when you come out, it's Wednesday morning and you know, what happened? To Oops, this lost Oops. track of time. And so that's, again, another reason why it's so much funner to have uh, everything. So here's one whole set, which is just the wheel and brakes and suspension for one of the wheels. So rather than sit down and spend 10 minutes putting that together, wouldn't it be much more interesting to spend the whole evening putting 10 of these sections That's together? That's amazing. They even give you a little screwdriver and everything. Oh yeah, they give you the tools that you're going to need. They give you everything to put the thing together. And it's all held together with screws and bolts and because on the on the Russian car, I've had to at one time dismantle the front end and re, uh, repair the uh, the suspension because I inadvertently damaged the suspension. Okay. And they sent the new parts for that and unscrewed the necessary parts and screwed it all back together and it's good that's as new. That's just that's wild. They oh my gosh, it even has brake pads on the caliper. Yeah, the attention to detail. Part of the eight scale models, we've got a lot of eight scale models and we used to collect a lot of poacher models. And I thought that poacher models were the world class of all world class models, but then you start then you getting into like the Agostini oh, and it's man. Like, oh, yeah, no, these wow. are just, these are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. These are just absolutely unbelievable. Museum quality piece, absolutely. Yep. And they look like they go right together. I don't think you would struggle, unlike some of the plastic models I've put together. I... Well, almost everything is made of metal, which for strength is a good thing because they're mm -hmm. very heavy. Right. But also it makes everything dimensionally stable. So when you look at these body parts, there's no there's no dis there's no distorting there's no, no none. warping over time there's no you can see anything. right where to put everything it's and, wonderful and nothing's going to change shape everything's going to be mm -hmm. you know for the next hundred years it's not going to be changing shape or anything no. it's going to be just fine not like me but maybe. <laughs>
My shape has changed a lot through the years. It's warpage. There it is. So anyway, uh, we're, we're planning to do a little bit of follow up on all of this as we go forward. Mm -hmm. And that should be a lot of fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> so if you're not a subscriber to the channel, you'd want to be a subscriber to the channel. So you can stay tuned very That's easily right. by just <laughs> getting notified that, that a new show is up. That's right. And the easy way to become a subscriber is to click on the blue button. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for that? So right there, the blue button. But we're not sure how you found this video on the internet and we hope you didn't find it boring and we will see you here on sunday with yeah. some sunday foolishness we'll see you then bye-bye <laughs>